All right, what is up everybody? Like the title states, new boat, new gear. Let's check it all out. Super pumped, baby. Alright Reaper team, thanks so much for tuning back in. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that tour video of the new Contender 23-25 tournament, the new little Reaper. Uh, the name was supposed to go on uh, two days ago, but we got rained out. Guys, as you can see behind me, we are on day nine of clouds, rain, or a hard northeast wind here in Bradenton, New Jersey. It's been absolutely brutal. It's been slowing me down on the progress on the little boat, the big boat. Um, I haven't really fished. I kind of went out for a little bit on Zach's boat um, and it was just weeds, dirty water. I fished for about 10 minutes and said, all right, I'm, I'm done with this. But at any rate, you know, guys, new boat, new gear. Um, it, it's kind of simple as that. Um, I really wanted to equip that new contender uh, for anything from Back Bay Flukin. And like I said before, uh, alluded to in the prior video, anything out almost to the canyon. So um, I guess I'll just kind of break it down into fishing and then specifically for the boat itself and uh, kind of go from there. So let's check everything out. I'm super excited. It's like it's like Christmas in here. So uh, I'll, I'll share it with you guys. And um, if you have any specific questions about any of the products, just comment below. I, I'm normally pretty good about getting back to you guys. Um, at some point, I'll maybe like get better at providing links to, to you guys can purchase this on your own. I've just been really busy with these boats. But anyway, enough yapping. Let's delve on in. We'll start with the fishing gear and we'll kind of work downward. I didn't buy too much dedicated fishing stuff, but Figure out show you anyway. All right, team. So now on to just the fishing gear. I try not to get too crazy buying new rods and reels every year, uh, but that doesn't seem to last long, to be honest with you. Uh, when you fish hard, you, you beat your equipment up. I do the best I can. I've said before in prior videos to, to keep up on it, but sometimes with the cheaper stuff, it's honestly it's just as cost effective. Just go ahead and buy new. But at any rate, so I was over at Bass Pro. I had to get a couple of things over there, and I picked up this. Daiwa, it's called the Legalis LT2500, so really nothing special team, I just wanted the uh, smaller like 2000 series reels down below in the garage, um, just kind of had a faulty like uh, anti-reverse, and instead of taking the darn thing apart, getting the, the parts, I just said, the hell, I'll get a kind of, you know, cheaper end little reel, so nothing crazy, just a little 2500 series reel. I'll pair that up with one of my light tackle rods and that'll really be for just back bay fluking. So let me show it to you up close here. So yeah guys, again, nothing crazy. Daiwa Legalis 2500. Seems uh, super smooth. So yeah, I'll get that on one of my light rods and super pump, baby. It's one. Next up is I got myself a nice new back bay jigging rod for fluke. Um, I've never really spent a ton of money on the back bay fluke. Uh, honestly, I don't do it a ton um, and I don't jig all that much. You see, I kind of have my own little ways of doing things but jigging so fun when it's productive and I feel like this year with diesel being god it's probably gonna be 10 bucks a gallon I keep saying it down here at the marinas um, I may be back there more in June and early July and once there's a lot of quantity of fish man jigging gets super fun so I picked up this nice St. Croix rod so let me show it to you up close but uh, yeah seems really nice I'm just gonna pair it with one of my um, you know bait casting rods downstairs and uh, Zach's got one down there that um, He's got his boat out back, so I got some of his stuff, but he's got a really neat um, uh, bait caster where it's, it's like uh, you, you don't have to keep engaging it with the, with the reel handle, and I might end up getting one of those. It's like a John Skinner special, but anyway, let me show you this. St. Croix, um, you know, I've, I've had some other gear in the past, and it's, it's really nice, but yeah, this is a 6'6", you know, medium. It's got a fast action tip, nothing super special. Got a nice, you know, cork handle. Again, I'll pair that up with a smaller bait casting rod, and... Yeah, it'll be a new back bay jigging rod. All right, team, next up, this, this thing's super cool. Um, for years now, I've been trying to find a good way to keep my weights kind of separated in their own little bins and kind of out of the way and um, not soaked. Um, and on the Facebook, I joined a contenders only group. So it's like, you know, contender owners. Sounds cheesy, but it's been really helpful. I mean, people, you know, I've asked a couple questions about the specific boat I bought. And it's been really helpful so far. And the one guy on there was advertising these really neat weight trays. So it, they're actually, they're big enough. Oops. They're big enough. You can actually put small deep drop weights in there. Probably, you know, um, 
one to three pounds, I would imagine, up in there. And then, um, you know, I'll be able to probably, I, I bought two of them. So I'm going to leave these both on the little boat in the small hatches in the back. So this way, I, I got all my weights. I know exactly where they are every single time, especially when togging. You know, we use anywhere from three to 12 ounces. Uh, and then when I'm out there, you know, on the deep water wrecks for fluke, Again, same thing, three on up to 10 ounces. So it'd be nice to kind of keep that all separated. So it was a little pricey, but it's, it's really well made and uh, super excited to try it out. So yeah, team, I really like the black. Again, should keep everything nice and separated. It seems super sturdy, super well made. Looks like probably starboard material. And then next is, I totally forgot I ordered two brand new gaffs. Um, open these up. So I got one to replace the one that I broke last year on the La Perez boat on that big old yellowfin. And again, that's the only one I've ever had break. I've been using these for years. This is my favorite gaff, guys. Bust this out. Yes! So we got two brand new ones here. So this is the AFCO fiberglass. So it's six foot and it's got a four inch hook. And man, this is my absolute favorite gaff. So I'm going to keep one on the contender and one on the big boat. And then um, I have a couple other gaffs. So I'll, I'll always have two gaffs with me on the contender and three to four to maybe five on the big boat. Again, AFCO, fiberglass, six foot, four inch hook. Can't go wrong, baby. It's nice wrapped there. And it's so light, guys. I, I love this gaff. Me and Zach, you know, guys, we just, we leader the fish lightly with our left hand and boom, one with the right and then grab again and you're good to go. I don't, I don't need a leader guy. And then of course, new Sterling Tackle gear. Team, I, I can't say enough about Sterling Tackle gear. I've been running them since I had my first offshore boat almost 10 years ago, my 32 Pro Line, um, I've never wavered from them. It's an amazing company. They stand behind their products. Any question you ever have, call them, text them, email, whatever you need. Um, and I decided to just get some dedicated spreader bars and then special daisy chains just to keep at my house, just for the contender. So I don't have to keep swapping back and forth. I'll probably have Ballyhoo rigs made specifically for the contender as well. And again, this way I don't have to keep going back and forth. I'm going to open this, I'll show it to you real quick, but I'm going to do a separate video and just kind of really detail everything that I bought um, on this shipment because I really kind of don't want to go over how I'm going to run it on the little boat. I've been really planning out in my head how I'm going to troll for inshore bluefin. So I'll do a whole separate video going over this gear, but let's just open it up. We'll check it out. I haven't even looked at it. I've had this for you know a long time now, but uh, a lot of this stuff, guys, I've had literally in boxes. I've been so busy. I just haven't had a chance, so I figure, what the hell? I'll show you guys. It's not. There's nothing like getting a new shipment from Sterling. It's. Uh, it's. I'm telling you, it's like Christmas every time. All right, let's not cut myself with this utility knife. So yeah, all right. So we've got one of the Crazy Eight chains there. This looks like so purple and green. Another Crazy Eight chain. This is the zucchini. And then what else we got? So I have. Uh, looks like this is a wide tracker. So neat, that's purple and pink. And again, guys, in another video, I'm gonna take all these out, take them apart, I'll show them to you. This is a regular chaos bar, it looks like purple, and then I've got a zucchini stinger. Guys, I love the purple with the zucchini stinger, can't go wrong. This is one of the bigger 36 inch wide trackers. So again, I'll, I'll go over in the next video exactly how I'm gonna run these, but yeah, green, can't go wrong, inshore and offshore. And then here's the starboard brother to that so this will be the starboard 36 inch purple again purple's great on the inshore bluefin ground so yeah super pop new sterling gear just for the little boat I'm still on that same fishing vein but these are a little more you know oriented to the boat itself so guys you saw i have the 87 inch 112 pound thrust Minn Kota to Rova. what i did i bought from the ram system i bought one of the stabilizer mounts this way when you're running this will stabilize the actual head unit that contains the GPS so it's not shaking all over the place. So I'm going to install that as soon as it stops raining. And then back to the trolling motor. Again, I, I bought this one lightly used so it came with the, the actual iPilot controller. But what I did was I bought a brand new heading sensor. So it's kind of like what we call a puck. But this will help with the, the jog feature. And then when you want to go autopilot, it's like a, its own mini compass. The troll motor has a GPS inside it but it needs this to, to really kind of fine tune its course and then also how it jogs when you're on the iPilot or the, the anchor lock system, you know? And then just a new USB charger for the, the actual controller. So 
couple extra things for the troll motor. And then, just to kind of help arrange the console, uh, I've used these products from Deep Blue before. I buy these from Melt and Tackle out in California. This one, uh, Tom Senior down in uh, Florida had this one. I really liked it. So put your cell phones here, your wallets, drinks, you know, like wallets in here, sunglasses, cell phones here, drinks. I just thought that was really nice. So I'll pop that on the console. And then I got another one here, again, just to keep the drinks kind of out of the way and not spilling all over the place. So, yeah, I've, I've used these products in the past. If they don't end up fitting on the little boat, I'll just put them on the big boat. Yeah, guys, deep blue products. Again, I've used them. They're awesome. Team, and then now more boat specific, not quite as sexy as all the fishing stuff. So I just got a brand new Mariner 10 fire extinguisher. All right, and then I got obviously my brand new flares. Guys, got to be safe out there. Might as well stay on that same route. So for those, you know, the Mariner 10 and then the flares, I got a nice waterproof bag. This is for what's the company name? Gonex. I don't know. I found it on Amazon. It looks pretty nice to be honest with you, but uh. On the big boat, I have a dedicated ditch bag. It's got the EPIRB in there. It's got its own handheld VHF. It's got all the flares. It's got my sat phone. It's got um, its own fire extinguisher. I'm sure I'm missing stuff, but this way I can keep the flares, my fire extinguisher. I'll keep my own handheld uh, GPS slash VHF in here. I'll always bring the sat phone with me. Um, when I'm on the little boat, what else? I know I'm missing stuff, but just to keep everything nice and dry, I'll keep it in the console. It wasn't a lot of money, it was like 40 bucks or something like that, so yeah, it should be fun. So I have everything in there, smashed away in the console. And then what I'm gonna do too, there was two existing 2,000 gallon per hour bilge pumps. Go ahead and change them right out. The one was faulty, I said, what the hell, let's just get them all brand new. Two brand new float switches, again, not sexy, but this is important stuff. Keep your boat afloat, right guys? That's the goal. All new dock lines, I got God knows how many. These are uh, half inch, so I got some half, some five eighths. Okay, so kind of staying at the helm. The other thing I got, just to add storage, was this kind of T-top. This T-top, so it's made by Fishmaster. So this will hang from the T-top and then show you a little closer if you look on the flip side it's got all these compartments so up above I can probably actually stuff lures in there fluorocarbon clothes whatever I really need you know and then I think there's more pockets on this side so I'll be excited to to get that installed fish master accessories yeah it's got another hole look it's got a whole nother thing in there oh no that just gives you more access here look there's more bags in there yeah so I again guys I haven't even gone through all this stuff I kind of got nuts on Amazon but we'll get this all installed I'm just waiting to get the boat in the water team and this is one of Icom's newer products this is the Icom M510 um, I'm gonna replace the older one that's on there and then I'll make that the backup so I have two VHFs that are you know uh, wired into the boat and then I'll always have my handheld a sat phone and my Garmin inReach as well so always have Backups, backups, backups when you're out there, especially on a smaller boat. But what's neat about this one, I, again, I haven't even opened it, but apparently you can actually futz around with this thing on your on your smartphone. Now, I'm not very technologically sound, so I highly doubt I'll use that. But if you're good at that stuff, it's neat. And then now, I was really excited. We bought this back in March. Alana and Brittany helped me pick them out. Um, I haven't even looked at them. But these are Ocean Tamer bean bags. All right, so they're actually bean bag chairs. And I got a neat surprise. Let's uh, let's see how it came out. We tried these out at the boat show, and they seem really comfortable. So let's let's see here. Now, guys, you know what's neat about all this? Credit cards. I can't afford any of this, and I don't care. Life on this earth can be very very short, and uh, I live by my motto: work hard, play hard, baby. I'll worry about the credit card statements later. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, baby, look at that. So, the Reaper Fishing NJ logo on there. And I imagine you probably got to let these kind of equilibrate, you know. But let's give it a shot. Yeah, I think we got to kind of break it in a little bit. But they were showing me like you just kind of position your body a little bit differently and it, and it almost like reclines or it sits up. But I'll play around with that. But yeah, white, gray. And again, it's got the Reaper logo on there, so. The team, I actually went ahead and got two of them, so if, you know, Alana and her friends are with us and we're either going inshore fishing or we're just going over to the lagoon or what have you, 
you know, you got some nice comfortable chairs at the back and then I'll do like all the other cool center console guys do once you get out there um, if we're tuna fishing again my you know my guys will be comfortable on the way out we can stuff them on the on the uh, t-top bungee them down we're good to go all right now, now really important so probably the most important purchase that I've made for the new contender is a brand new four-person life raft all right this one is from Superior life saving. It's called the what's it called? The offshore stream. Again, four man capacity. I bought this guy at the uh, boat show. Uh, they had it all, you know, uh, disassembled there, and uh, it works just like my other one that's in what's called a valence. So I'm going to keep this four person one on the contender at all times, and keep the six person one on Reaper the big boat. Um, it's important, at least you know, in my opinion, if you're going out there. Team, especially like you know, I'm out there in January. If I go over, I'm dead. Um, so it's important to have this. And uh, it was pricey, don't get me wrong, but but what's neat too is I bought this right in Cape May at Sea Gear. So whenever I need to get this repacked, all I got to do is just go to Cape May. The other one I have, you have to go all the way up to uh, to North Jersey. So really excited. I'll keep this right in the console with all the other safety gear. So if God forbid something happens, I know exactly where everything is at the ready, and uh, keep me and my crew safe. So. And one more thing too, team, I got this just for you, the DJI Mavic 3 drone. I literally have not opened it. I have not tried to fly it, I'm afraid. I break stuff like this typically in about 10 to 15 minutes. So I need to just take a whole day and learn it and go practice at the ball field. But I got this for you guys. I want to get you some aerial footage and be out there and really get the quality of the vids up so uh, y'all can watch a little bit more. So yeah, DJI Mavic 3. All right, team, last piece of the puzzle. I was editing the footage real quick and realized I was nowhere in the frame when I was showing you guys this. But, yeah, I ordered this online, so a nice contender mat. Uh, we'll put this right at the console. Just, uh, you know, takes a lot of the, the pressure off your feet, makes it a little more comfortable in the ride out. So probably cheesy. I don't care. Black and gray. I love it. So, yeah, team, I hope you enjoyed that video. Just kind of, again, going through, you know, the, the stuff that I, I had purchased for the new boat. I really hope to get you guys out there on our first ride and our first trip. Um, I'm really excited for this season, team. I'm really excited for the channel to grow. Uh, guys, the goal is 100,000 subscribers. I know that sounds crazy. We're a little over 10,000 now. Um, I'm a pretty goal-oriented guy. I normally get to where I want to be. But I need your help, guys. You know, tell everyone. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Hey, you know, this guy's a knucklehead. He goes out there 50 miles out in his little boat, you know. And I'll make it happen for you guys. But I can't thank you all enough for watching, subscribing, commenting. It's just awesome. Again, if you have any specific questions about these products, just let me know. There's so much other stuff that I bought. This was just kind of stuff that I had that I hadn't really even opened up yet. I figured I'd just share with you. But, yeah, super pumped, guys. And, uh, man, it's just been rough. This weather's been gnarly and unreal. So I hope to get out there soon and you'll be along with me for my adventure. So can't thank you all for tuning in. And uh, I'll see you out there, baby. Tender, so excited. And then, real, real quick, look, guys, it's like Christmas. It's it's literally like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> There's stuff everywhere, boxes, plastic. Anyway, enough yapping. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you.